The Blazers' six-game losing streak came to an end with an impressive 102-89 victory over the Sacramento Kings. And it gives the Blazers the tiebreaker against the Kings. They'll only meet three times during the course of the year. And who knows how things end in the NBA sometimes crazily. It could be the difference between joining the party in the playoffs and, and looking forward to uh, the 27th of June or whatever it is. Uh, they have the NBA draft next summer. Yeah, you are right, and that's something Terry Stotts pointed out before the game. He talked about the fact that this game is important, not, to be, not just because you want to break a six-game losing streak, but because you want that tiebreaker. And so he employed his team to get out there, play tenacious defense, as we saw them do the other night against the Toronto Raptors, mixing things up defensively. They did that against DeMarcus Cousins, throwing double teams at him sometimes, other times staying solid, just really keeping him off balance, getting into that shell drill, helping each other, helping the helper. Everything was in play for the Blazers defensively early on, and then they got the offensive production that they needed, the stuff that they missed in their last game where they had the good defense. Tonight, C.J. McCollum with 20 points and playing a great floor game, adding seven assists. You look at Mason Plumley, 14 points. That's after he had his season high. Oh, I'm sorry, 14 rebounds, Kevin. 12 points. But that's after he had his season high in the last game with 15 rebounds. He was all over the place. Mo Harkless played big, 12 points. Shabazz Napier coming in off the bench to knock down two threes. Myers Leonard in his play, and with the pressure that comes with it after the dramatics of the last game in Sacramento, I thought he handled that very well. We can just keep going down the list. And it's this type of collective effort that the Blazers need, especially in Damian Lillard's absence. Well, December, just a rough one, certainly yes. for the Blazers uh, with all of the road games that they have played, uh, being on the road as long as they have been, uh, and come home, obviously, can't get it done in the three previous here in this four-game home man. A win it tonight to snap the streak at six. And they do it without Damian Lillard once again. Who knows? Maybe he's back in time for our next outing in San Antonio. We will join you on that particular night. Five o'clock pregame, 530 tip on CSN.